Hey guys, uh, today I'm standing in front of the Hull Services Passive Solar Greenhouse in Calgary, Alberta. This greenhouse is roughly 500 square feet and is operated by Hull Services specifically within their horticultural therapy program. The greenhouse is one of the latest uh, revisions of the Verge Permaculture uh, greenhouse style and I wanted to go through a couple of components on the greenhouse because I think it provides a lot of educational insights that will benefit you when you're going about and designing your own passive solar greenhouse. So today we're going to talk about the glazing, specifically the lower vent wall glazing um, that is operable and allows for air to come into the greenhouse and keep it cool uh, in all seasons. So behind me you'll see that there is a panel that is made out of the polycarbonate and it's quite thick. The polycarbonate itself is 25 mil and this acts both as the glazing surface above me which allows the sunlight in 12 months of the year but uh, what's really unique about the way that they've built these vent walls is that it's a very inexpensive way to build a light operable vent system that will allow light in through all seasons but it will also allow for an operator specifically um, the wax filled operators that open and close the windows now one of the difficulties in managing a greenhouse is building it in such a way that it's going to manage its own thermodynamic loads automatically. You don't want to have to be coming out to the greenhouse three, four, five times a day managing whether or not windows should be opened or closed. And so there's basically two ways that you can do this. Number one, you can get an expensive robotic system that will monitor temperatures and then open the glazing surfaces or the vent surfaces all automatically based on when it needs additional temperature or where it, when it needs to shed additional thermal energy. Um, and that can be very expensive and it's subject to failure and breakage and all of those sorts of things or you can get these wax filled openers. Now the wax filled openers essentially function by um, using a cylinder that's filled with a medium, typically wax, it can also be gas, that expands when they get hot. So typically these cylinders are dark in color or black and so as they absorb solar energy they correlate to the temperature inside of the greenhouse and the medium inside of the cylinder will expand putting pressure on the piston which then ends up pushing a mechanism and thus opening up the window. Now today the windows are not open because the greenhouse inside is not very hot and so the windows are staying mostly closed. However, if the sun were to peak out today, we'd end up heating these cylinders up. It would then exert a pressure on the wax filled cylinder and the window would then open up. Now, like I said earlier, these Lexan or polycarbonate panels are really light. They have a fairly good R value. Um, and so they actually work quite well as a, a venting panel versus, you know, potentially using a vinyl uh, window or uh, potentially a more expensive system. One of the disadvantages of these wax openers though is that I have personally found that they tend to overrate um, or be a little bit too uh, optimistic about how much weight they can actually push. So what I always recommend to my students is go out and get a wax opener that pushes more than you think you need. Basically oversize it and you'll be pleasantly surprised that they actually do work um, quite well if you do oversize them. Um, be cautious about undersizing them or trusting what the marketing material says on them because you might find that your windows don't actually open. Now a couple of other things to think about when you're designing these systems. I like to make sure that the panels or the vent panels are completely removable. Almost every passive solar greenhouse is going to overheat in the summertime and so you want to make sure that it's easy to remove these panels because basically in the middle months of summer in the northern hemisphere that's going to be kind of June, July and August, you can largely remove most of these panels to allow additional airflow with less resistance through the actual greenhouse itself. And you're going to get a much better um, vented greenhouse. You're going to keep those temperatures low and ultimately the plants inside are going to be a heck of a lot happier. So I'd recommend you check that out. 
So you'll notice that the windows behind me are fastened with a piano hinge, which is something readily available from your local hardware store. It's really easy to install. So uh, one side of it's fastened to the greenhouse, one side is fastened to the, uh, the glazing uh, panel itself. And then behind the glazing panel, we've got rubber gaskets so that when the window actually closes, it seals against the greenhouse to reduce any infiltration actually coming into the greenhouse. So this greenhouse has similar vent panels on all four sides of it, which are both removable and also operable based on these wax-based cylinders. Thanks so much guys, I hope you found this video interesting. Hit a like button if you got some value out of that and leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment section below. Have a great day.